Hey guys, and welcome back to Ask Nikki P. Oops, cancel. There we go. I'm going to hop in. I always click random buttons in my email to my question today, and it says, hold on. Okay. Hi, Nikki. My boyfriend of 10 months left a few weeks ago. He is going to basic training for the National Guard. I am so upset about it, especially since we won't be able to communicate at all besides through letters. Not having him is so hard and lonely. Do you have any advice on how I should deal with this? Okay, I'm gonna say two things, three things actually. First off, send a message to your boyfriend, tell him, I mean, you don't have to, but I want you to tell him that I said thank you for his service. Um, I'm just really in awe of people who, you know, give selflessly to serve their country. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, I think, I, I've heard, I don't think, I know, I've heard from friends who have had boyfriends and husbands in the military that that period of time of them being away in basic or like if all, just at some point, if all they can do is letters, is one of the hardest times they've had to go through, but also in retrospect, one of the most romantic and bonding times that they've ever gone through because that is all you have and it forces you to sit down, each partner, and especially I think as a woman receiving that from a man, it forces them to sit down and get their thoughts on paper. So A, yeah, it's really hard, but no, like treasure these letters and no, it's gonna be a bonding time and like, so cool to have that. The third thing I will say is I have a friend, her name is Katie, she lives in Vegas, and her husband Blake, um, he is in the Air Force and she has done a ton of videos about being married to someone in the military and she talks about all of the emotional stuff that goes through it. So her channel is um, youtube.com slash katie135 and it's Katie like in the movie Mean Girls, C-A-T-Y 135. So you should definitely check her out because like I said, she's just done a bunch of military videos and she has firsthand experience. So I can just, you know, talk about it from the sidelines, but this is nothing that I've actually dealt with. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's, that's very helpful. Anyone who has had family or a husband or a boyfriend in the military, feel free to chime in in the comment section down below because yeah, like I said, I don't have firsthand experience with this. Um, that being said, uh, I'm sorry that he is away and I know that that has got to be really, really hard. So I'm going to hop into the Twitter question and hop right in. I don't know why I always say that. Okay. It says, how fast did you and Dan fall in love? Ooh, fast I think is really, um, very relative. Some people might say super fast. Uh, I don't, I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that. Cause I met Dan in high school. I've told this story before. And when I saw him, I wouldn't call it love. I just experienced like a feeling in my body that I hadn't ever experienced when I saw or spoke with any other human being ever. It was the weirdest feeling. And I couldn't put like a title or a word on the feeling. It just was a completely different feeling. And he didn't even like recognize me the first like four or five times we met. And then when he finally did, he like, he claims he saw me and he, when he like saw me for the first time, like really recognized me, he claims that he was like, I could marry that girl. I don't know. So, um, we had hung out for about a month when we were dating or hanging out as friends before he asked me out. And I was honestly so shocked when he asked me out because I thought he didn't like me. I just was like, I really like this guy as like a friend. Like we were hanging out all the time, but I was like, I can't go there because he doesn't like me like that. So when he asked me out, I was like, you like me like that? Like, I thought you just wanted to be my friend. So it was really, really shocking. And we dated for 11 months afterwards. And then he asked me to marry him and then we got married eight months later. So to some people that is super fast and it was fast, I guess, but it wasn't like we met and fell in love overnight and got married like a week later. So that's the timeline for that. I don't really, that's like my best answer guys. So yeah, send your messages and your questions to AskNikkiP at gmail.com or you can use the hashtag on Twitter, AskNikkiP. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for videos pretty much five days a week and we will, I will see you soon. Bye guys.